Hi guys. The beauty of nature. God's creation is so beautiful. Na, na, na. Come, let's talk. Come live. Let's talk, guys. Let's talk. Let's talk about God. I came to read my books. Oh God. I came to read my books. Oh. It's a beautiful place. I came to read my book. Let me show you. The beauty of nature. It's a beautiful place. I came I came to read my books, but I'm jo I'm just enjoying nature, you know. When oh mama, mama Shelly, God bless you. <laughs> I mean sure Mama Shelly. The beauty of nature, you know, when you look at all these creations and look at what God has made, you know, it is so beautiful. I mean sounding to my F. I came over to read my books. I don't know if anybody has read this book. The Gift of Grace. The Gift of Grace. It is a very good book that I recommend that everybody should get. It will bless your life. Amen. Bible said, Steady to show yourselves approved in the Lord. You know, it is a wonderful book. The Gift of Grace. Hey, my brother. God bless you. The Gift of Grace is a book that I'm, I'm, I came here to read, you know. It's a wonderful book. But, you know, I want you to just enjoy nature. Just enjoy the beautiful nature. Let me just turn the camera. Let me flip it around. You know, in life, when you, you know, once in a while, you have to sit somewhere like this and look at the beautiful nature that the Lord has made, you know. When you, when you, the Bible says in the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 35, yeah, Mark 1 35, Bible says Jesus Christ, you know, once in a while he would move, he would early in the morning, I believe it was a morning devotion. God, God bless you, Apostle. <laughs> Pastor, I'll tell you, God bless you, amen. You know, Bible says in the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 35, that Jesus Christ would move. You know from the from the disciples into a solitary place to do what to, uh, to pray you know once in a while you have to move out of your problems you have to move out of your comfort zone you have to move out of wh whatever you might be going through and just sit somewhere like this and enjoy the beauty of nature you know and as you are enjoying these things look at look at the trees you know, not too long ago we had snow shower and all these trees you couldn't even see them because they had lost the leaves but look at what god has done you know in the book of jeremiah 18 the bible says god said you know god said god sent the prophet of god jeremiah into the porter's house and the bible said as the porter made you know like this fountain hold on let me let me turn it like this fountain right the porter would make clay he, he would make i mean i mean objects out of a clay you know and the bible says you know the bible says and god told the prophet you know to tell the people of israel that the same way the porter is able to make such objects from from clay god said i'm able to you know make your life like like that turn around i mean turn your life around amen you know, so I just came here to read my books. I came here to read my books, but I just want to encourage somebody that no matter what you're going through, if if it seems impossible, if it looks like God can't do it, just step out, look at the beauty of nature, and know that the same God who made all these creations, the same God who is able to cause the leaves to wither, the same God who is able to, you know, mend destinies is about mending you, is about re I mean, re 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 restoring you and re, you know, reinstituting whatever you've lost. Amen. 
and so i just want you to step out if you can wherever you live just sit somewhere isolate yourself speak to god and enjoy the beauty of nature you know enjoy the beauty of nature because sometimes when you sit home sometimes listen have you have you realized that you know almost all the time you may be at a particular place maybe on your bed the moment you get to your bed you realize that you begin to think about your issues you know maybe 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 in your car the moment you sit in your car there are specific issues that you begin to think about them why because your mindset your mind has been psyched up to those problems you know but once in a while somebody i want you to go i want you to step out of the house you know sit somewhere like this read the book of mark chapter one you know mark chapter one is a very powerful book i mean it's a very powerful thing that i would encourage and even james chapter one you know sit somewhere bring your books like like what i have done i brought my books i don't know if you can see them i brought my book to read and my bible you know that is my phone you know you you, you move away and this is where as as you read your book as you read the bible god will speak to you don't always dwell in shame don't always dwell in disgrace don't always be at the place don't always be at a place where you know don't always be at a place where you always have to be thinking about the problems and the issues you're going through you know sometimes you have to build your faith you have to encourage your own self you know but when when somebody is able to encourage you most of the time they might take prestige they might take pride out of it you know so i just want you to understand that god is doing i mean so much things you know I, when you step out and you see the beauty of nature you have to know that indeed god can do the same thing with you you know we had snow the leaves the trees the you know the everything the grasses everything were gone but look at what god has done you know so it is a beautiful day i came your way to encourage you that for whatever you might be going through just commit to god mama god bless you too just commit to God, whatever you might be going through. Just commit to God. And when you are when you are fully committed to God, there is no way that you'll be put to shame. Yes, the storms will come. Yes, the tantrums will come. Yes, things might be tough. Yes, it, 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 it might seem hopeless. It might seem, you know, like your end is near. But I want you to be rest assured that God is faithful god is still alive god is still living god is still making miracles is still working miracles god is seeking to bless somebody and that person is you you know so whatever you are going through don't sit at one place don't sit at the same place move mark 135 bible says jesus would move away from the disciples into a solitary place to pray amen so move from your comfort ghost comfort zone step up baby if God is able to do these things, then He can change my life. He can turn my life around. Amen. This is the time you have to encourage yourself this is the time that you don't have to you don't have to be calling people you know i'm not saying it is wrong but you don't have to depend on people you don't have to depend on people you know this is the time that god has given every person an opportunity to come boldly you know to him hallelujah in the book of john chapter 5 when you read the book of john chapter 5 it talks about the pool of bethesda the pool of bethesda and and, and the bible says you know john 5 when you get time when you get a chance you can read it the pool of bethesda the bible says you know the the man that, that sat there for 38 years when the angel when jesus got there you know you know what his excuse was he said whenever the angels came to stir the waters you know nobody nobody would push me there why because he was depending on another man and for so many of us that is the mistake we are making we are depending on people to push us we are depending on people to bless us you know the david, david said when i look at the mountains i ask myself where comes my help somebody your help is never from another man your help is from god yes god works through men but your help is not from the man he is just using them as channels i mean depend on god enjoy the beauty of god you know when you when you sit on a plane or when you sit in a plane and and the plane goes higher you know it goes higher you realize that the building
houses, properties, the companies, you know, the, the greater things that we wish we own, you know, they will be so little, little bit. You know what that should tell you and I? It means that for whatever we think we need, I mean, God sees them as very little. Whatever we think we need, God sees them as very little. Amen. So don't give up, don't cry, don't worry because of what you may not have, you know, don't worry because of what you may not have. For God, is cooking your blessing god is cooking your miracle god is cooking god is working everything together for your good you know the plan of god about your life is never to harmful it is never to harm you though it might seem harmful but it is never to harm you amen don't give up on yourself don't, don't give up on your faith you know just encourage yourself be, be strong encourage yourself read the word of god enjoy the beauty of life you know just step out just look at the beauty of i mean of life just look at the creations the beauty of nature what god has made and know that if god is able to spend time on trees because just look at those these trees not too long the, the, we, we had snowstorms and the leaves with it you know not too long you couldn't even recognize these trees but if god is able to bring you know the leaves back the fruits back if god is able to bring strength back to the trees how much more you human being a person created in his image if god is able to restore the leaves to the trees if god is able to restore the beauty of nature why how much more can't you do it for you a man after his own image you know so i just came your way to encourage you just step out step out from that house step out from that home step out from that place that, that you said to always think about problems and issues step out go somewhere you know just enjoy the beauty of nature it, it will tell you that god is still working amen it will tell you that god is still working these trees have been these trees have been here for years you know you, you can't tell me that after the storm some someone came back and injected something but no god you know has restored it and you see how beautiful it has been you know i just came your way to encourage you i'm here i'm about to read my books i'm about to read my books and i pray that the holy spirit of god will speak to me amen i'm about to read my books i just came your way somebody to encourage you that don't give up commit to god commit to god yeah we have been praying for so many of us we pray a lot but the question is after the prayers after the worship how much time do you spend to hear from god how much time do you spend to listen from god because prayer is a communication it's a dialogue so after you speak when you talk 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 you have to sit somewhere like this for god to speak to you too you know after you speak, that is why usually if you wouldn't go anywhere after you pray you have to sleep that is why it is very important that you wake up early in the morning you have a morning devotion pray and you sleep you know when you do that god will speak to you because god is a speaking god he's not a dead god he's it's not a shrine amen he is still speaking you know the bible says in the book of job 33 verse 14 i think job 33 verse 14 god bless you pastor tonya you know when you read the bible in the book of job 33 bible says god is speaking but we don't perceive we don't listen you know so please i just came your way to let you know that if there is no if there is no reason to give you hope just step out of that home just step out of that car just step out of the same place you sit and you are always thinking about problems if there is nothing god bless you if there is nothing to give you hope just step out you know and enjoy the beauty of nature when you look at these trees you know that these trees when there were storms when there was snow these trees Trees, you know they lost the, 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 the leaves you couldn't even recognize them but if God is able to restore these trees of the leaves if God is able to restore the beauty of nature how much more you a person a man after his own image if God is able to restore all this you know look at the beauty of nature so just step out step out step out don't be sitting at one place always thinking don't be sleeping on your bed always wondering how things are going you know for so, so many people it, it, we wish we were dead but listen until death you never know what god has in store for you step out encourage yourself be strong in the lord step out of the house you know pray come somewhere like this listen to the voice of god he will speak to you get your bibles get your I mean, get your books, you know, read when you move somewhere like this. Listen, there is no way God will not speak to you. 
there is no way God will not speak to you. So if like, if there is no motivation at all, if nobody is encouraging you, if no encouragement is working for you, if you really believe that there is a God who created the heaven and the earth, if you really believe that there is a God whom you have believed, if you really believe that there is a God who listens to prayer, then you have to step out, look at a tree, you know, just look at the, some of these trees, look at the beauty of the earth and understand that the same God who is, who is able to restore these trees, these trees of the leaves, of this beauty, the same God who is able to restore the nature of his beauty, God is able to restore your life and your destiny. Yes, the enemy fought you. Yes, your own mistakes fought you. Yes, the, the, the enemy seems to win. Listen, in the book of Genesis chapter 49, the Bible says Jacob called all his sons. Listen, Jacob called all his sons, Genesis 49. And in verse 19, you know, he called his sons, he was prophesying to them. You know, and in verse 19, he called one son, he, the, 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 the name of the son is God. He said, God, a troop shall besiege you you know they will take over your land it means they will defeat you you know they, they, they will take over your land they will take over your glory you 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 will be a failure things will work against you things will be bad for you he said but listen genesis 49 19 he said but you shall overcome at last amen and i pray for you in the name of jesus that no matter what you might you might be going through no matter how the enemy seems to have won God is giving you an assurance that you shall overcome at last. Amen. Victory shall be yours. You know, on the, in, on the, the other day in the book of Matthew 27, when, when they nailed Jesus on the cross, they, they, they seem to, to have overcame. They seem to, yes, Genesis 49, 19. You know, when they nailed Jesus on the cross on, in, 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 in Matthew 27, it, it looked like they, they had overcame. You know, it looked like Jesus was a failure. But guess what? He overcame at last. Amen. On the third day, he rose up and he said, Now the power of heaven and earth has been given unto me. Somebody make that declaration. Step out. I encourage you. I don't know why, but I want God. I mean, God wants somebody to hear this message. That step out of the house. If there is nothing encouraging you, if nothing is working for you, just step out. Just look at the beauty of nature. Just look at the, 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 the trees. Just look at, you know, how God, look, just look at some of the things that God has restored, you know, if God has time, if God has time to restore even trees of their leaves, even trees of their fruits, you know, no matter the storms, no, no, listen, my God, my God, in the book of Genesis 26, I think, I'm not too sure about that, in the book of Genesis 26, I'll, I'll make reference, Genesis 26, I think, I think, I think, yeah, is it Genesis 26? I think you know when God listen when God create when God instructed Noah to build the ark. You know when God create instructed Noah to build the ark. The Bible says God told Noah to make uh, to make listen the window of the ark on top of it. So it, I always say so Noah made the first convertible. You know instead of the window of the ark being on the sides, God told Noah instructed Noah that the window should be made on top of it. Amen. You know why God did that? You know because there will be storms. You know as as, as the storm is coming, if you look at the size, you'll be afraid. But you will when you look up God, when you look up to when you look up, what do you see? You will see your God. Amen. So that in the storms of your life, you don't look at the size, you don't look at the storm, you don't look at the problems, you don't look at who is able to help you and who can't help you you don't look at what is happening whatever it is you look up to god bible says looking unto jesus he is the author and the finisher of our faith whom for for the glory set ahead of him endured the cross listen there is a glory ahead of you that is why there is a cross you have to go through you know until you go through you can never break through so listen laugh at your pain amen the bible says in the book of john chapter 11 i was i, I was talking about that on the radio station not too long ago you know in the book of john chapter 11 the bible says when 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 they came and told jesus that lazarus was was, was sick you know the bible says jesus verse 3 the bible says jesus loved mary lazarus and and martha so he decided to wait for two more days you know it, it doesn't make sense if you love me and i'm and, and i'm dying 
why would you wait you know but in listen the bible say god tests those that he loves amen he decided to wait for two more days and jesus told them that this sickness upon lazarus is not unto death it, 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 it did not come to kill him but just so the glory of god will be made manifest you know that sickness that poverty that shame that disgrace that painful situation listen i want you to envisage glory ahead of the uh, at the end of the tunnel i want you to picture glory at the end of the pain whatever you are going through this is the word of jesus say just so the glory of god will be made manifest it reminds reminds me on, on the other day when Jesus was about to heal a blind boy the Bible said the disciples asked him which of parents had offended that he will be blind Jesus said none of them has sinned but just so the glory of God will be made manifest the boy was blind it looked like his life was shattered it looked like he wouldn't see anything it looked like all hope was gone but little did he know that there was a glory ahead of him amen I don't know what you might be going through I don't know what the pain is I don't know what the issue is listen in after all hope is gone I want you to step out today just step out and enjoy the beauty of life just enjoy the beauty of nature and know that the same God who is able to restore the earth of his beauty who is able to restore nature of his beauty if God is able to restore these trees of their leaves how much more you that he made in his image how much more you who spend time crying unto him how much more you who he wants to do so much with you amen never give up never lose hope laugh at your pain you know step out step out don't be don't be don't be sitting somewhere you know no 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 whatever whatever you speak to your soul is what happens for you you have to this is the time that you have to psych up your mind that even though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death yes people people go through and they die people go through and they get sick people go through and things lose for them but guess what i am only passing through amen because as i pass through i will break through in the name of jesus this is the time that we have to begin to speak to our souls you know you have command to, uh, uh, on your soul whatever you, you speak to your soul it is like a gym it is like working out however you speak you you tell your soul it's what the spirit builds up with amen it is like it is like back in africa you know for some some people their parents might say you know don't play with these people because we are we are poor don't go there because we are poor and you know the child will grow up knowing thinking you know knowing having this perception that we are poor you know you know whatever you tell your son whatever you tell your spirit is what it, it, it receives amen and so the other day in the book of psalm 103 david told his soul he said my soul my, so bless the name of the lord amen mary the other day you know when 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 the angel told mary that she she was pregnant she'll be pregnant the bible says mary said my soul magnifies the lord hallelujah i don't know what you want to tell to your soul right now i don't know what how you want to encourage your soul right now i want you to speak positive positive things as opposed to the negativity yes the doctor say you are sick but can you tell your soul that i am healed yes the, the, there is no money yes today maybe you are hungry there's no food on the table but can you say can you tell your soul that god will provide i don't know what you might be going through but i encourage you in the name of jesus right now right now even as you're watching me speak to your soul speak to your soul you don't have to you don't have to pay for it it is free just speak to your soul yes my soul magnifies the lord yes yes speak to your soul right now in the name of jesus speak to your soul this is where you tell your soul that i am great say my soul i am great you are great you are powerful you are strong you are a great man of god you are a great woman of god speak to your soul the greater is he that lives in you that you know don't, don't tell your soul that my soul do not look about do not look you know do not consider our surroundings you know things might be tough today so the other day david said do not revolt over me do not rejoice over me because i might be down today but i might be down today but greater 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 speak to your soul right now you are blessed you are very blessed you are very great the glory of god is upon you the power of god is upon you the presence of God is upon you. You know, this is where I want you to tell your soul that my soul, if any demonic 
orchestration, if any demonic cult, if there any demonic power calls you, my soul do not respond. My soul respond only to the call of the Lord. Respond only to the call of the Holy Spirit. My soul respond to where greatness is. My soul respond to where deliverance is. My soul respond to where power of God is. My soul respond to where riches is. My soul respond. Go. Respond to the call of the Lord. Where you'll be great, where you'll be strong. That is where you go. Where poverty is my soul rejected. My soul refused reje rejection. Refused failure. Refused sickness. Refused premature death in the name of Jesus. I pray for you and I encourage you this day that you just step out. You know, I came here just to read my books but and I encourage you to, to go somewhere, sit somewhere, move from people, move from your friends, move from your family, move away, move away. Mark 135. You know, Bible says Jesus, Mark 135. Bible says Jesus will move away from the disciples into a solitary place, you know, to pray. Amen. So please do that too. You know, if we are followers of Jesus Christ, we must follow him well. Amen. Move away. Go sit somewhere and enjoy the beauty, the nature. You read your book, you read the Bible, and you, you will see how God will begin to speak to you. You know, and even with this, I don't know what pain you might be going through. If you are able to move away from people, you can really cry unto God. The Father, how long? How long? How long? You know, the Bible says, the Bible says, at the pool of Bethesda, John chapter 5, John chapter 5, the man at the pool of Bethesda, you know, he, 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 he had been there for 38 years. And his excuse was that when the angels came to stir up the water and not get help because he was depending on another man. You know, we have depended on men for far too long but this is the time that we must we, we must know that our help comes from the lord there is only one source james 1 17 bible says every good and perfect gift comes from god amen every good whatever you desire for so many people you 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 are depending on your uncles you are depending on your fathers you are depending on your parents and that is why nothing is happening because they can't help you they are only human even people are depending on doctors you know i have doctors that I have doctors that have been sick. I have doctors that I have been sick, and I will pray for them in the name of Jesus for them to be well. Yeah, I have doctors that call me. You know, I'm, yeah. You know, Paul said. Paul said in the book of the book of Corinthians. He said, even I'm not boasting. Even if I were to boast, I have every reason to. You know, listen. Doctors can, they are only human, they are limited, amen. Lawyers are only human, they are limited. Let's not put our hope in men. That is why little things break our hearts because we put our hope in men too much, you know. But there's a time that, you know, and, and, and this is one vision that, this is one mission that the Lord has given me that I, whenever I stand to say His word, to preach His word, I have to encourage people, I have to let people know it is the truth. I have to let the people know that this is the time that you don't, you, you don't, listen, you don't go through, you don't have to go through somebody to, to reach God. No, no, no. He says, come. Let us reason together. Even if, you know, he was even talking to sinners. He was even talking to unqualified people. He said, though your sins are as right as a scarlet, you know, you don't have to go through other men. You don't have to go through anybody. It's the time that you wake up in the morning and you speak to God. You wake up when you have a dream, you talk to God before you tell any man. You know, that is why so many people, so many, excuse me to say, so many pastors are claiming men of God. They are taking advantage of people because we, we depend, some of some people depend on them so much, you know, and so they see themselves as, as gods, as shrines on you, you know, but this is the time that whatever it is, no matter how sinful you are, just go to God, that is why he is God, that is why he is the savior, that is why he is the messiah, read your bible, worship God, don't just go to him asking him, you know, don't, don't just, don't always go to God because you want him to do something for you, no, 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 you should go to him, you should also go to him because you want to thank him for what he has done for you you want to thank him for what could have happened to you but he saved you you know an accident could have happened to you do you know that there are, there are some people who were born with legs with arms with eyes and all of a sudden maybe they will have an accident and something will pierce through them 
they will lose an arm, they will lose an eye, they will lose a, body, a part of the body. Do you know there are people like that? It could have happened to you. You know, but God saves us from them. Do you thank him for them? You know, the Bible says, you know, when he healed 10 lepers, only one came back to him to thank him. And what did he do? But we say, because of his thanksgiving, Jesus, God, Jesus made him whole. Amen. Your thanksgiving is breaking you through. Your thanksgiving will, will seal that blessing. Your thanksgiving will seal that breakthrough. Your thanksgiving is very powerful. It is a powerful request. Amen. Let's always go to God thanks, with thanksgiving. Amen. Thanking him for his mercies, for his favor, and for his protection. So like I said, I'm going to end here. I came to read my book. And I recommend this book for everybody. The Gift of Grace. You can go on Amazon and order it. The Gift of Grace. It's a very powerful book. You know, I'm about to read it. I'll finish it today by the grace of God. And then we will take you from there. God bless you. Hopefully this afternoon I may come your way with back to the Bible. I'm about to seek the face of God. I pray that the Lord will speak to me wherever you are, even as you are stepping out to enjoy the beauty of life, the beauty of the natures, I mean, of the nature. I pray that God will speak to you. You know, let's step out. Let's see, let's see the things that God has created and know how supreme he is. Let's see how how the how the birds are suspended in the air and they don't, you know, they don't fall. And let's let's know how great God is. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for watching me. This is Jesus Centered. I came your way to encourage you to step out. Step out from the house. Step out from, you know, the uncomfortable situation and enjoy the beauty of nature. It is part of your inheritance. Amen. I remember one day I was in Virginia. I took, you know, I took somebody somewhere and, um, and there were so many cars. I was enjoying the, I was loving the car. I'm like, wow, wow. So many cars. And you know, and I saw and and I saw some birds flock together, some birds flying together in the sky. And the Lord whispered to me, the Holy Spirit told me that these are yours. This is where you belong. He referred me to the bears and said, This is where I belong. I'm like, ah, why why bears? And the Holy Spirit sp spoke to me, told me that because you belong to the nature. Amen. These the, these cars will vanish for heaven and earth shall pass away by the word of God. Only nature, you know. So enjoy the beauty of nature. You might not have cars. You know, there are cars here. You might not have cars. You know, that is my car over there. I don't know if you can see it. You might not have cars. You might not have children. You might not have marriage. You might not have, you know, worldly things. But guess what? You have nature. Enjoy the beauty of nature. God bless you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.